superstar here in Stovacon. They just insisted that he's a puppet. And, uh, and Greg's like, what are you talking about? I don't feel real. And they're like, no, no, the truth is, Greg, right? just we throw you in a trunk or a suitcase or something when you're not on camera. You're only alive when you're on camera. Mike, those implications are unsettling to me. <laughs> Uh, 
Fox DVD. Yeah, they put that on as an extra on the Fox DVD. I saw all that stuff, and I just thought, this is something that I really want to be a part of. And uh, they, they offered me a part uh, to play, like, Greg's counterpart. And I thought it was going to be all me playing Spencer, uh, essentially. And I thought, thought that would be really great. And then Spencer's our co-director who couldn't be here today, by the way, who would often be in the off-screen foil along with Sean to the guys you never see, never see faces, you know, it's a very Muppet Babies kind of scenario. But I just thought, <laughs> so I thought it would be uh, uh, really fun to be on, and it was. We had a ton of fun all day long. Um, we got to make an episode where uh, uh, Corey Feldman kidnaps Greg. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do an episode where, uh, where the puppets uh, uh, give a dog a vasectomy. Uh, I don't know why they canceled it. <laughs> but, but I mean, it was also awesome. it was a show. That, it was a, it was a show like Arrested Development several years before people were going to see something like that on TV. And uh, Fox tried very hard to make it into something homogenized. They kept they kept saying Mountain in the Middle, like more like Mountain in the Middle, more family. They wanted more stuff with me and Gene having father son conflict. They kept trying to set me up like chasing Sarah Silverman around the office in some kind of. You know, love well, triangle. Yes, yeah, it's very sense. interesting because it was very much about the puppets, and what we wanted was to do kind of curb your enthusiasm for the office um, and the puppets. It was very character-based humor, very dry and subtle. But, but just with, with like the puppets, it's no big deal. They're just a minority out in the culture. It's not every right. joke is oh, the Oscars on Prozac, so it's not so grouchy anymore. Right, right, right. <laughs> so well, then they they realized that they had the dad from American Pie and the son from Austin Powers, and wanted to market to that. And so the show kind of lost focus and became, as he said, very much about the father-son relationships and all that. I mean, that said, we're really proud of what we did. It's a, it's a really bizarre and, I think, unique show. And <laughs> I don't think there's much else like it. But just so you know, from our perspective, it was always a kind of a battle of, are we doing Alf? Um, <laughs> we didn't want to do that. That's been done. We wanted to do something more like Larry Sanders' show. And I think you can tell in some episodes, from scene to scene, it actually the kind of tone of the show. Larry Sanders was like the director. Yeah, yeah. We, we watched Larry Sanders religiously, and that's how much we loved Sarah Silverman because she was on there, and we were honored to have Eugene Levy come and play as well. And uh, the stuff we're doing now, we're trying to get cameos from everybody as much as possible. So Seth's been in a few episodes. I told them they can literally call me any time of day, and I'll drop what I'm doing and come play. <laughs>